And with that, we welcome you back to 3 News at 5. Happy Victory Monday to all of you for uh, watching. Thanks so much for spending time with us. Laura Queso, Jay Crawford, Lena, and Christy are off today. Uh, wherever they are, they're celebrating oh, the yeah. Browns' win from yesterday. We're all celebrating big. I mean, when the Browns beat the Steelers, it's a good Victory Monday. It is. So many things to dissect from this game, as there always is when it's a Steelers and Browns game. But let's start with the voice of the Browns, our own Jim Donovan, back where he belongs in the play-by-play -play booth. Caps it back. Ball down. Hopkins into it. Flag down. Kick is up. And the kick is good. Clock hits zero. They throw it. Pickens got it. It goes to Deontay Johnson. He's got it. The Browns got him. Mike Ford got him down. Good is that? It's so good. <laughs> and look who's here with us, Jim. We are so so happy to have you back. It was an incredible game to come back to, Jimmy. I can't imagine that it could have been any better, particularly the way it started for you yeah. and the way it ended. Oh yeah. It was. It, it turned out to be an amazing day for everybody, but for me, I have to tell you, um, it was the most incredible day for me from start to finish and it really started last week when I got the word that I could come back that I was okay medically to come back and called the Browns up and said you know what and they were they'd been great during this whole thing and you know they would call me every week and say what's it look like do you think you can come back and I go no not this week and then I gave them the green light during the middle of the week and said hey I can come back and do the game and they've been wonderful so I mean the build-up was amazing um, and from the time I just pulled into the stadium in the parking lot with the fans and walking over there, uh, it's something I will never, ever forget. I have to tell you, it just was incredible. And of course, then to win the game the way the Browns won it just topped it off perfectly. Yeah. You know, you were the dog pound captain. I was. <laughs> and you had that big honor of smashing the guitar. A video I watched about 20 times. But you were saying, uh oh, here's the moment. You were saying that thing is heavy. It's a real arms. guitar, yeah, it's a real a guitar. Um, I found out, the Browns asked me if I would do this on Thursday when it kind of got out that I was gonna be able to come back. And I said, yeah, sure, I'll do it. But I never realized how much went into this, and I mean the organization and how they synchronized this thing and those people that work for the Browns in their marketing and their <laughs> game day were just incredible to me. And the reaction of the crowd when I came out of that tunnel yeah. is something I will never forget. I mean, I'll never forget it. I mean, when they said it to me and they said, the crowd's going to go crazy when you come out, I thought it would be, you know, kind of a nice, polite, oh, it's good. No, no, but, no, no, no. Man, when I, well, I have to tell you, when I, it, it was just, it was just mesmerizing. It was unbelievable. Um, I'm, you know, I got all kinds of advice, and there was a gentleman in there that was trying to tell me where to hit the guitar so that it would break, and that other people had made a mistake of yes. trying to hit it on the, on the neck or right. on the... And uh, <laughs> I just went out there and said, gosh, I hope this thing breaks. And it finally did. It was just great. Uh, I was telling Laura in the first half hour, few people that are not athletes ever experience what it's like to have 70,000 people screaming <laughs> At your entrance, I, I can only imagine what that had to be like. But as good as your day started, and I got to tell you, it, it got dusty in a lot of households oh, last yeah. night when the video went viral of Kevin Stefanski handing you the game ball. And you can tell that there was some emotion that went into this. Take us into that moment, Jimmy. What were you feeling? So I'm, I've been in the uh, broadcast booth, and we were all, the, everybody that was involved in the broadcast, we were celebrating that it was a great day. And so then I went down to do my Channel 3 video and I got the message, hey, you got to go in the locker room. And so I said, well, why do I have to? I mean, I, yeah, I can, but I got to get this done. They said, no, 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 you got to go in right now. The coach wants to see you. So I walked through the door and I walked into the locker room and Kevin Stefanski came out of his office and he had the game ball in his hand. And he grabbed me and he said, hey, I want you to have this ball because you're a fighter just like this team. And I went, oh my God. And he said, I just can't believe how hard you fought to get back here. And it means the world to us. 
And um, we are just so happy to have you back. And I want you to have this game ball. And it was just, it was an incredible, it was an incredible exchange. He is such a great guy. Classy. But he is so classy. Yeah. And um, I just, I, you know, I was just speechless, which is difficult for me yeah. to be speechless. <laughs> Isn't that right, Laura? Yeah. <laughs> Jimmy, let's yeah. drill down on what he said for a second. He said, you're a fighter just like we are. Right. The, every season, a team takes yeah. on a characteristic. Many times during your years of calling the Browns games, those haven't been positive <laughs> characteristics. Right. But the characteristic of this team is exactly what Kevin Stefanski said to you after the game. This team is filled with when the chips are down yeah. and the game hangs in the balance, they stand up and they make a message statement. And I think there's a lot of synergy to what he <laughs> said about the fact that you and the team are kind of interconnected here with your spirit and your will to never give up. Yeah, and you know, I can tell you this, like all of you that were texting me um, during what was going on and when I was in the hospital, I, I would get that text weekly from Kevin Stefanski. And, and you know, he would say, how you doing? Hang in there. Wow. We can't wait to have you back. And I mean, here's a guy getting ready for big games every week. And I would always get that text from him. And it was just, it really, it was unbelievable to think that he would even give a couple of minutes to think about me as he gets ready for the next game. But you're right, Jay. I mean, they have overcome every obstacle that has been thrown at them. And they've had a lot of curveballs thrown at them so far with who's gonna be the quarterback, when is he going to play? Now he's not going to play for the remainder of the season and dealing with really tough, tough ball games and critical decisions down the wire. And they have succeeded. And there's, there's, it's corny, but there's a little bit of magic with yeah. them this season. There really is. No question. Jim, there's a lot of magic in you. 100%. What you do is the hardest thing in sports to do. <laughs> Call radio NFL games. What you've done in doing it and becoming an icon in the city you do it, very, very rare. Kudos to you. We're lucky to have you. Oh, thank you very so much. Very lucky to have you. It we is great so to be happy. back. We're it is so great happy to have, to have you, you back. back. Yeah. And I am so excited for Front Row at 7. Are you ready? <laughs> I, you know, I want to say to everybody out there, this lady has held that show together while I've been off. The creditors <laughs> were knocking at the door to take that show away. And yet she hung in there yeah, right. to hold serve, as we would say, until I could get back. With a little help from Russ Mitchell, maybe a lot of help from Russ Mitchell. But you get a game ball tonight at 7. Yeah, make sure you bring it. Okay. Hey, Jim, I'll see you soon. I'll we're see so you. happy to okay. have you. I am glad.